A fight is happening. Citations will be coming out. I don't care if you're alive or dead. You're getting a citation. Well, welcome back to another episode of Not So Berry. Um, I just have to start this episode by saying when I joined the save file, there was a little burb like mid-flight, which I just thought was so freaking cute. And I just thought we'd start by, you know, praising this adorable little bird who is dive bombing straight into my pond. So the bravery is just beautiful and the bird is gorgeous. But we are back with another episode of Robin moved out on her own to Henford on Bagley. The sun is setting on her first day of work here. We're going to be doing some more of her going to work today, which I'm actually really excited about because I forgot how much I missed Sims going to work. Last episode was also really long, which I'm sorry about if you don't enjoy the long episodes, but I actually hear from you guys that you really like the long episodes. So maybe I'm not sorry, maybe... It's a little gift to you guys. So we're going to be getting on with that today. We're going to be in cast tweaking some appearances that I mentioned last time, such as our little toddler sister who needs a CC update and some of our co-workers. But before we get into it, it is that wonderful time again where I say a big thank you to the United Colors of Benetton for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys don't know, I've had an ongoing relationship with the United Colors of Benetton for a while now. And whilst I love summer as a season, I'm definitely a summer girl. When it comes to fashion, I am 100% a fall or uh, autumn. Well, we're really American there. An autumn slash winter girl because I like layers and I like cozy clothes. So I'm incredibly excited about the new cozy clothes that I'm showing you guys in today's video. So there are a bunch of new arrivals on the United Colors of Benetton to make sure you are feeling cozy and warm this season if you're like me and you enjoy a little bit of layering and a little bit of a cozy moment. And I went very cozy this time. I chose this high neck sweater, which for me, it's kind of foxy. I like that it, the colors, I like that it feels foxy. It has a little bit of an oversized fit and a high neck and it is incredibly warm. I'm going to New York next month, so I really needed some warm clothes. And knitwear kind of felt like a no-brainer. And one thing that I really like about United Colors of Benetton is their commitment to sustainability with their ethical, social, and environmental practices, which includes the wool blend used for this sweater. I also chose these slim fit trousers with stretch inserts. So these are kind of like a mock leather trouser, which I used to have, but I haven't had for several years and I forgot how much I love them. They are super, super comfy. They're gonna look so nice with some boots and they dress up whatever jumper you put with it. So I thought these two were a nice Combo. So if you want to get cozy like me, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. You can get a link to my whole entire outfit and a big thank you to Benetton for sponsoring today's video. So as soon as I join, Robin is coughing because she needs to get a little bit cozier, although she does dress very cozy. She's moved from LA to England. She has a sore throat, Like literally she's been in England for two minutes and she's already feeling a little bit under the weather. It is colder here. It is definitely much, much colder. And we also got a notification last time as well to let us know that we've got to pay one thousand. 700 in bills in the next 24 hours, which is definitely going to be kind of tough. Now, Robin is a lazy sim, so I'm kind of like, I need a get rich quick kind of scheme that gets me enough money to pay my bills whilst also kind of being lazy. So kind of trying to figure out what I can do to do that. It's too late now to do an odd job. They finish at 7 p.m., I think. And the only thing I can kind of think of doing is like porting off my dad's laptop, but I don't really want to do that either because he kind of gave it to me to make sure that they, we can stay in touch with them. I'm going to just like sell some of the stuff that I used to have in my inventory. I kind of want to keep the ball because I want to get her a dog. This excellent bunny that I earned from getting an A in school. I've got this poor quality jar of honey, my old homework, something I found in the garden. These I kind of wanted to plant, so I want to keep a hold of. I really don't want to sell my violin either. Can I sell crime scene photos? Okay, no, that would be quite unethical, but also quite a good little way to make a bit of money on the side, let's face it. So I'm kind of going to plan for future money. A fox is stalking you. Oh, no. Don't be doing that. So I'll plant these for now, which is going to help me get a little bit of cash. Our dad always had a well-maintained garden that we can remember. That's kind of probably going to help us out a little bit. We'll have a little bit of understanding of gardening. But the money's going to take a little while. Like, genuinely, it is. And oh, gosh, crouching in the dirt with worms in the dirt. No, thank you. Robin is not reaping whatever it is that she is sowing. It's time to admit that she dislikes gardening. Okay, well, that's, that's definitely going to make things a little bit tougher then, isn't it? So yeah, that is uh, that is not ideal at all. I'm going to send her to bed for now, but it will probably be a bit of a fitful sleep because we need to work out how to generate a thousand pounds. I might have to invite the farms around and ask my parents for money. I mean, we've only just moved out. I'm sure they wouldn't mind doing it, but I didn't expect to run into money problems this soon. Look, we have some little fireflies in our garden. 
How pretty is that? And whatever is broken in the house has been fixed by the gnomes overnight. Thank you, gnomes. So if you guys don't remember, we are living in a rental. A rental. Which is why everything kind of looks a little bit older in here. I'm not going to touch the deco because it's a rental, so you can't. However, it is clearly a pet-friendly rental because there is a dog bed there. There is also some uh, balls in here. So I think today we will go ahead and get a dog. I do still have this sore throat, which is bugging me. And I did not brush my teeth before bed. Ew, Robin, that's so gross. But our work date starts in an hour so let's have some quick breakfast and then let's definitely brush our teeth okay perfect we're ready for another day i'm gonna join you again because i really like going to work with my sims it's just fun and training day two train harder there's still a bit more to learn before you be ready for your own case first it's time to get into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure after that you'll get a shot at finding and arresting a suspect get a move on rookie okay so we are back in another day at work we're sneezing all over our co-workers i'll go say morning to Teresa. and oh we do have some clues about our suspect we're in slacks which as an english person i still just don't really understand uh, a teenage girl okay and hates children. Okay. Our co-workers are all already in. <laughs> Hi, guys. And I'm going to start throwing some CC on folks as well. So, Jamie, I'm kind of seeing that we'll have a beautiful friendship together. And I kind of like Jamie a lot. So, <gasps> ask for birthday money. This is... She does keep doing this evil laugh, though, which is freaking me out. This is... Why didn't I think of this before? Why don't I just ask all my colleagues, be like, by the way, it was my birthday. Can you give me some birthday money? This is the laziest way to make money. But we are a lazy sim. So it makes perfect sense. Jamie is evil, so I don't know if we're going to get any birthday money out of her, but we'll, we'll try it all the same. Oh my gosh, she gave us $44. Oh Jamie, Jamie. Okay, you definitely get a CC makeover for that. And yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. Psychopathic tendencies, mistress of get disguise. Okay, how did you make it into the force, Jamie? You're squeamish, evil, and active. This is a whole interesting thing we got going on here. Okay, so after learning Jamie's traits and aspiration, maybe we won't be her friend, but we've CC'd her up anyway. And then we've got Austin, who we, ha we had a crush on yesterday. Let's see what we can do about him. Okay, so Jamie was a sergeant. Austin is a detective, which is what we want to be. And that hair is just not staying, babes. Absolutely not. Here is his little makeover. This beard is like very stripy. I wanted to keep the hair color, but this kind of gets lost in his skin color a little bit so i was looking for a different beard color so maybe we go for something like this so that's austin austin is a painter career minded wait what is that from huh i don't think i've ever seen that before i don't know where he's got that from well done he's cheerful clumsy and a dance machine he's kind of cute i like that so that's two of her work colleagues cc'd up and then finally she actually has a crush on her boss which is a little bit of maybe we don't go there because he's her boss but also it could kind of be a cute love story however i can't see him where has he gone oh she also has a crush on andre but he's got a spouse so we won't do him yeah i can't find the boss However, I can grab him from here. So let's go ahead and do him too. Now he's using a custom skin tone, which is not going to play ball with genetics. So I'm going to switch him out for an in-game skin tone instead. He's kind of got this whole silver fox thing going on as well. So he's grayed early. So yeah, let me know what you think about Shingo as well. He is a serial romantic. Okay. He wants to play the field. Oh no. He is jealous, genius, and an animal enthusiast. So that is Shingo, our boss as well. So there we go. We've got a few love interests. It doesn't have to be one of those. They are just the ones that um, she's currently got her eye on. But for now, we've got to do our work days. So I'm going to go ahead and head on patrol because we only did adequate last time. So I need to seriously up my uh, up my game if I want to get a promotion. And I need a promotion because I need to pay my bills. Okay, when an officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make friendly or a mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation to make sure they are obeying the law. Okay, let's meet people in our neighborhood. This is not actually our neighborhood. We should be in Henford on Bagley, but we will just ignore that for a moment. And oh, hello. Hello, teenager. Interesting. Female teenager. That does seem to be uh, lining up with our suspect. I need to discover what you think of children, Naomi. And oh, I'm getting sicker and sicker. I'm now stuffed up. I've got a sore throat from the weather. I'm overthinking, even speaking to citizens. Like, this is going to be a difficult... I feel like genuinely, she wants to be a detective, but her actual favorite place to work would just be sat behind a desk in the office because she's like a lazy sim. So I sort of feel like this works. Like, this work is not ideal for her right now. She wants to be a, a desk jockey police person. Okay, so no one's doing anything naughty or illegal everyone's just being nice little sims 
This is an angry sim, but it's not legal to be angry. This is also shown as a romantic option, but it's just because I'm asking if she wants kids. I'm open to the idea of having kids. Okay, you probably don't hate children though, so you're probably not the sim I'm after. Anyone else doing anything illegal? You about to spit that bubble gum out maybe? I'm not sure. I need to find somebody doing something though, because I've got to do a citation, which is why I don't really like target driven stuff like this, because you know, if everyone's good, I don't do good at my job, but surely I want everyone to be good. So it's, it's kind of a tough one. I'm going to take the time while I'm waiting for someone to be naughty just to uh, harvest everything here so I can sell it. Big brain. Or plant it. <gasps> and oh my gosh, look who's spying on us. Mahina, what are you doing here? Maybe I can ask for some birthday money as well. Because I kind of need it. Mom, I need some money. I can't pay my bills. Can you help me out, please? I wonder what she thinks of me in my cute little uniform as well. Look how cute I look. Do you like my outfit? <laughs> She actually went ahead and asked her. And nobody's been naughty. Nobody's been little bugs. Nobody's fighting. Mahina just gave us $43. And $224 for my birthday. Mom, you are an absolute saint. Oh, <gasps> and a fight. Yes, finally. Get here, get here right now. A fight is happening. Citations will be coming out. A ghost is fighting. I don't care if you're alive or dead, you're getting a citation. No fighting under my watch, not in this neighborhood. So here we go. No, naughty angry ghost. Kathleen, here's your citation. Take that. Now you're a sad ghost. Oh, and I'm getting sicker and sicker. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and return my butt to the police station. And I kind of, I'm getting worse. This whole move into England is making me sick. Could have warned you about that, Robin. It is cold here. And we're back at our beautiful police station. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin, an APB. We have a rough description of the subject. The more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the pup. You'd be less likely to arrest an innocent person who shares a few similarities with a guilty party. Okay, so I still have some evidence to process. So I kind of feel like I should get that out of the way first. Nope, apparently I don't, even though it is in my inventory, but okay. I guess let's go ahead and head upstairs. Uh, issue an APB. Maybe tell my colleagues. Oh, new colleague, Anaya. Hello, Anaya. You have gorgeous hair. Let's uh, introduce ourselves to her and just let everyone know, by the way. APB, APB going out, guys. Look, my APB. It's going out. What do you think to that? Oh, and it brought me straight there. Okay, I thought I would have more time at the station, but no. I forgot that it did this. Okay, we're in Strangerville. Nice, 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 nice. And now we got to arrest a suspect. So, teenage girls, where you up? <laughs> That sounds weird, but I, I need to arrest you. Oh, and there is a teenage girl right here. Okay, I need somebody who doesn't like children. So we've got Susanna here. I'm just going to go play football with. That's... <laughs> I think you're too sweet for this. Maybe we're doing the whole good cop, bad cop, but we're the good cop. This person is hyping me up. And we're just kind of like, do you want to play football? I'm the cool cop. I am a cool cop. Nope, she hates football. Okay. And I really need to get, I don't think I've got enough to unlock it yet, but I need, you know where you can tell people's skills? Sorry, observant. Oh, <gasps> learn the traits of others just by meeting them. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so freaking useful. If you guys have been saying that to me in the comments, apologies if I missed that, but that is very helpful. Okay, Susanna's good though. I don't feel like this could have been her. We've also got Yuko over here as well. Do I know like hair color or anything? Slacks, teen, female, hates children. What even are slacks? Are they slacks? That's a skirt. Okay, I need someone in trousers. This teen is called Eve, which makes me immediately suspicious. My work day will end in an hour? I feel like I've not been at work for two minutes. But this girl saying, isn't that her right there? So I'm assuming it's Yuko. Okay, both of these teenagers have accused each other. So I don't know which which one it is and even though i did that trait that unlockable trait to make me observant i still only know one of each of their like traits i know that yuko is paranoid and susanna is good and i can't use get to know again because i already used it once oh <gasps> okay i asked them both oh both of them i really don't like kids oh my gosh i genuinely can't tell which one of them it is the thing is, that's a skirt. Are those slacks? I thought they were cargo shorts, but there's no other teenage girls around. So I'm just going to have to go for Yuko because I feel like a skirt definitely isn't slacks. The shorts might be. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give it a go. So we're going to go ahead and arrest Yuko. I feel bad because I genuinely just don't... I don't know. But either way, I don't think I'm going to get enough time to like interrogate her or anything so i have three things to do get the fingerprints to the booking station talk to the chief or exercise for an hour and we know she's lazy so she probably isn't gonna want to exercise for an hour so let's try and do the other two instead oh <gasps> wait a minute are they slugs 
I don't know. Are they jeans? Are they slacks? I don't know what slacks are. I don't understand it, okay? But we've got her fingerprints. And now do I, do I like, what do I do with her? Do I put her in here? Oh my gosh, I found the chief. This is perfect because instead I can end my work day by talking to the chief, which I needed to do anyway. And it's the easiest thing to do. So there we go. A little chit chat with Shingo, who she definitely has a crush on. And I think we did a pretty good job at work today. Oh. <gasps> We've been promoted to officer! Yes, we, we get 28 simoleons for hour. Our next shift is tomorrow. We didn't get a bonus. I kind of needed the bonus because I'm still $500 off paying my bills and look what's just popped up. Our bills need paying and everything's just been shut off at home. And yeah, we we have no power. <gasps> and oh my gosh, the boss is telling us off. How long does it take to solve a case? Are you dragging your heels? I want results very and I want them yesterday. Okay, we're getting kind of grilled by our boss. She still finds him attractive though, so I don't know. Maybe she likes a bossy boss. And someone's asked us for a simoleon. My dude, I can't even pay my own bills, but whatever. If you can't pay your bills and you have no power at home, you know what you do. Go back to mom and dad's house. The flight service in the sim world is amazing. You can get a same day flight to and from LA. Be in LA in the space of one evening and then be back before work tomorrow. It's, it's a very different type of technology. The Sims is a utopia. <gasps> and it's our little baby sister out in the rain on her own. Why? Let's go ahead and immediately CC up Lily. And Lily aged up with the silly trait. So this is Lily. She's very cute. And just going to pop some little CC on her so that she matches the whole fans. Oh, she's adorable. She looks a lot like Mahina. I actually kind of like this hairstyle. I know it's clay, so I'm not going to stick with it. But I do think it's a cute hairstyle. Oh, and I forgot my whole toddlers versus eyes issue. Oh, and she's just so adorable. What? Very, very cute. So that's little Lily. So I don't really know why she's out in the rain, but let's just go pick her up. <laughs> and then let's go see our family. And I'm really, really hoping they've got some food because um turns out I don't I don't have any money, fums. If you can give me another 500, can I loan 500 pounds, dad? That would be so handy. Did dad give us some birthday money? No, it was mum. Ask for some birthday money. And where is little bro? Maybe he can give us some birthday money as well. <gasps> He's in my room on my PC. Oh, wow, I leave the house for just a few days and look at that guy. We will give him a nice hug and then we will most definitely be asking him for some money as well. Because I kind of need it. And oh, look, it's the pasta that I cooked a few years, a few years ago, a few days ago. It's a good job I did. Oh, I'm stinky as well. Because... Now I have to eat it. And you're going to spread your English sickness to everyone at this rate. So it's nice seeing little bro again. I actually don't have the option to ask him for money. That probably is good because he is my little bro. Give my sis a little, a little bath while I'm here as well because I don't get to spend that much time with her. But we do have a nice relationship. Look, they do get on. Super siblings. That's cute. Dad's trying to sleep to get out of giving us money, but I don't think so, Coral. I really, really need this birthday money, Dad. I know you gave me 25,000 simoleons to move away, but times are tough. And it turns out you don't get paid that much for being a police officer. I know, right? $67. Wow. So generous. So generous. And I'm going to see if they let me get away with just having a little sleep in my own bed my old bed i kind of think they're gonna say this is inappropriate which they really shouldn't do because i'm their daughter oh maybe they're not maybe i'm just gonna stay at home tonight and go back into work tomorrow oh <gasps> they're totally letting me sleep over okay perfect my own bed it's not a rental it doesn't have a different weird smell to it a home-cooked meal that i cooked technically for my family this is great. This is sometimes you just need farms for this exact reason. So she's had a nice proper night's sleep. I'm writing a comedy routine because I haven't forgot that I am meant to be a comedian on the side as well. So she's writing a new routine that I like to imagine is about all of her work colleagues. Like the fact that one of the cops is evil <laughs> secretly. Or the fact that she has a crush on her boss and all of this kind of thing. Or the fact that she's been moved out less than a week and had to move back in because she's got no power at a house because she can't afford the bills. It's all been kind of chaotic so far. And I've got work in 30 minutes, but to me, that's just enough time to practice my new routine on the thumbs. Wow, so supportive. So supportive, dad and brother. Actually, the disrespect. Mom, mom, do you at least find me funny? Thank you, mom. There we go. That's, see, that's all I wanted, mom. That is all I wanted. And we're going to join her for another day. And oh, wait, Austin, have you had a promotion? 
Austin with the new rig out. Hello. Scary Jamie's here as well. Let's say hi to her. Uh, and it's also time to get a new case assignment. I'll try and do better this time. And I feel like I'm building up a little bit of a rapport with... Oh, look at that. I wonder if he seems happy to be talking to me. And he's like... <laughs> I guess that means he is. I'm thinking of maybe... I'm talking to him about gourmet cooking. Maybe he's like, that fruitcake you brought in was really good. You're a good cook. Maybe you, maybe we could do a bit of cooking together sometime. He also is showing signs of the innocent personality type, which is obviously quite good if you are a cop. <laughs> Oh, and Andre's come to sit opposite us. My thing is stuck on case assignments, so all I can do all day today is get a million case assignments. But look who's come to sit opposite me. And also, look who's come to, uh, has he finally got into his office? Oh, Shingo's finally in his office as well. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, it's just moved forward. Okay, brilliant. I'm gonna, like, go to another crime scene. But before I do, I'm just gonna drop a little flirt covertly. A little, uh, covert flirt at work. So yeah, I have got to marry a co-worker. That's why I'm taking such an interest in who, which co-worker she finds attractive. And when I get her to scope, it is Andre, Charles, who's an elder, and Austin that she's finding attractive. She does also find her boss attractive, but he was in a different room. And I'm just going to do some quick covert flirts with Austin. Just, you know, plant the seeds. Plant a few seeds of attraction and then just see if, you know, he calls us. And then I just kind of want an excuse to come in and talk to Chingo, uh, Shingo because I think she likes him too. Louis is kind of lost in thought right now. What are you thinking about there? <laughs> You're having a real, real good think about something. I kind of feel a bit nervous. Look, she really is attracted to him. So I get all of these little symbols here. I feel a bit nervous trying to flirt with like my boss. That's just a situation you don't want to get yourself in. So instead, I'm just going to make her say like, oh, thank you so much for the promotion. Oh, <gasps> Austin got married. Austin got married to Jeanette. She works here. Where's Jeanette? I swear she works here. Oh my gosh, she got married. No freaking way. Jeanette Chen. Oh, okay, that's bad. And okay, our boss is roasting us again. Barry, are you originally from Sunset Valley? Well, I don't know how things work over there in the valley, but over here, we follow a little thing called the chain of command. Oh gosh, am I getting told off by my boss again? Look at her. She's like smiling away though, because she's kind of mischievous. She's like, I don't mind getting told off. It builds character. And now she's throwing confetti all over him. Oh my gosh, be careful. Be careful, Robin. I'm going to send you to the crime scene before you get into any more trouble. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Whenever I'm like, what crime could possibly have happened here? We are always greeted by 12 million gravestones. Okay. Cassandra, Arvin, Supriya, Bartholomew, the cat, Isabella, Blue... Mackenzie, all the Delgatos and their cuts. Justin, Evie, Gerald, and Rachel. Now, this is just because I'm on like Gen 8. So by that point, you kind of end up getting quite a lot of deaths, but it's still always a bit disturbing. I'm also not able to knock on the door of the house. So <laughs> it's police careers shopping glitchy. So instead, she's just going to chit chat with the civilians. Do it more as a patrol because it seems to have bugged out a little bit. And I'm sort of realizing I need to start bringing like a little packed lunch with me because I keep getting hungry when I'm doing these patrols. I think a little pack lunch is probably a good thing. Oh, <gasps> and no way. Look who's turned up on our... But you're, you're married, Austin. What are you doing to me? Why have you turned up on my patrol? I like the black shirt. Like, what are you doing to me, friend? Why? How did you just get married overnight as well? Sim, seriously. Oh, well, we'll keep him on the back burner. Marriages fall apart, you know? And we have this whole sentiment thing as well. And this feels illegal. <laughs> I don't think you should be spending your time as a police officer doing this, but okay. I think I'm going to finish on time today because I need to try and get again. Oh, wait a minute. A stray dog. Maybe I can adopt a stray. I was like, I really want a dog, but like, how, how am I going to do that when I won't be able to afford the adoption fees? And also it feels kind of foolish when I have such little money. But if I adopt a stray instead, then that could be our way around it. I did a good job today and earned some money. I want to stay here. I want to stay right where I was and get a stray. Okay, I brought us back here specifically to try and find a stray dog. There's an awful lot of cats, but in our life so far, there has also been an awful lot of cats. So I'm after a dog. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to find a little doggy to adopt today. But I think next episode, we'll try adopt a doggo. 
either using this technique, especially if we go on patrol here again, or by going on the PC and adopting one that way. Of course, we need a bit of money to do it that way. This way is free, but I think when, you know, you're kind of feeling a bit down and out, like your job's hard, your hours are long, you're having to keep nipping back to your parents' house. And oh, free things. And also the guy you had a crush on at work is, uh, you're not stray is also now married things are going a little bit tough i feel like we need a little companion in this since we've not heard from bestie trey in a while we will instead trey by the way he went into floral design did not see that one coming we will get ourselves a little canine companion instead and hopefully we'll be able to bring him on our patrols and stuff too and all of these little gifts i don't know why they're all there but i'm thinking these might just help me pay my bills let's give it a go oh <gasps> I think this is gonna work. Oh, this is a sign we need a dog. The dogs helped us pay our bills. I can actually pay my bills thanks to the gifts from doggos. Boom. My bills are paid with money to spare. Thank you so much, dogs. I will repay your kindness, strays. One of you will be coming home with me next episode. So we are back into work tomorrow. I need to know who should we go for? Which should be our next, uh, you know, do we do we keep trying to build our relationship with our boss who thinks that we're lazy and he's actually totally right, let's face it. But do we end up trying to date Shingo or do we wait for some new officers to arrive? Let me know in the comments below also don't forget to check the description so that you can get a link to the outfit i am wearing in today's episode and thank you again to united colors of Birdson for sponsoring this video and i'll see you guys soon bye